Welcome back to XRP Vault, where we offer you the most exciting and latest XRP news. You may enter to win 10,000 XRP by viewing the entire video, upvoting, subscribing, commenting with the phrase XRP is king, then upvoting again. The winners will be chosen the following month and announced on the channel's community page. XRP costs 60 cents. Correct, 60 cents. In this video, I'll discuss a situation that is rapidly taking shape and has the potential to drive XRP down below 60 cents. And I'll let you know when it could truly occur. What, however, must be in place in order for it to happen, and why? Because XRP is currently running into a significant resistance level. As a result, I'll explain some price charts as well as some analysis of XRP, Bitcoin, and the rest of the cryptocurrency market as Bitcoin is now surging on the heels of a 75 basis point rate rise, a basis rate increase, and bad GDP numbers for the United States. So what does such awful news accomplish? Well, it claims that all markets are rising, even Bitcoin. I'll also go over a few remarks made by the CEO of Binance. CZ as he is known on Twitter, has made some claims regarding the cryptocurrency market and the reasons why, in his opinion, now is a far better time than it was nine months ago to invest in cryptocurrencies. I'll explain why he said those things and the repercussions. General Counsel Stewart has previously expressed his views on the SEC strategies and what Congress should do. In addition, some former lawmakers, like Michael J. Berry, who gained notoriety by shorting the housing market in 2008 because he correctly predicted the meltdown, are now speaking out and advocating for the actions that Congress should take. He has made several claims concerning the SEC and how the crypto industry is handled. Hello everyone, I'm Randy. Back to the late night, please currently, Ryan, we are covering other cryptocurrency news, investing markets, and personal finance on this channel in addition to the Ripple vs. SEC lawsuit. Therefore, if any of these topics appeal to you, be sure to click the subscribe button, sign up for the Late Night Grind group, and click the bell notification symbol. In this manner, YouTube will notify you when I upload a new video. And if you try a few things out, enjoy it, click the thumbs up button, and watch the entire movie. Check out my Patreon link in the paragraph below, too, of course. These are the finest things you can do to support a YouTube channel, in fact. I would be very grateful if you could do that. Okay, folks, let's get started. First, let's discuss the remarks made by CZ, the CEO of Finance, regarding the cryptocurrency market. He claimed that the current period, in particular the local bottom of the market, is actually a healthier one for the space than it was nine months prior, when Bitcoin was approaching the 69,000 mark. He claimed that the current period is far healthier than when the total market capitalization of cryptocurrencies was cracking or was close to $3 trillion. Now, it might not appear that way because there are ever more liquidations happening every time you read the headlines. Even more bankruptcies are occurring. Even more exchanges and blockchain businesses are failing and becoming bankrupt. Why then is it better now? According to him, there were simply too many speculators and gamblers in the market 910 months ago, which contributed to the severe decline and withdrawal of the crypto markets, the price of Bitcoin, and some of the bankruptcy problems that occurred to entities like Blockchain and others along the road. Of course, there was also the Terra Luna collapse. He claims that without them, there wouldn't be any gambling and ad speculators, and the only investors remaining at the moment are those who have a far longer term vision. Therefore, it's generally a lot healthier for the cryptocurrency market now in terms of high-end investors and those firms that are actually doing the construction when you give up that short-term view and replace it with a longer term one. I concur. He is, in my opinion, entirely correct. However, if you're a trader looking to enter the market at a low, low price right now, you're probably considering the near term as well as how long this bear market will last and how long this consolidation market will last so that you can seize these low, low cryptocurrency prices and then wait for it to rise. Therefore, it's usually advisable to have a long-term perspective, often known as huddling, unless you are already a day trader or swing trader. Alright, 
You guys are aware of Stuart Odorata's Ripple's General Counsel. He recently expressed his opinions on the SEC's treatment of the cryptocurrency market on Twitter and in an opinion piece. He is not the only one either. Thus, he recently published an opinion piece in which he criticized the SEC's practices, calling them bullying in the cryptocurrency industry and, in essence, regulation by enforcement with no accompanying laws. And he is entirely true. Right. In reality, many members of Congress are arguing for much the same thing he is, namely that Congress take action to clean up the mess that the SEC has really caused. According to a former congressman, Congress must resolve the issue that the SEC is actually causing. Naturally, Stewart responded to that, and Ripple CEO Brad Garland House responded and retweeted it with the term FATS. However, you also have blockchain CEOs that are comprehending what they see and what the SEC is doing, effectively destroying the cryptocurrency sector. Brad Sherman is no longer the only member of Congress who has realized that something needs to be done to solve the situation. Additionally, there must be those who approach someone like Brad Sherman and tell him or her, listen, you have no clue what you're doing or what you're talking about. Therefore, either move aside or you're likely to be voted out. If you're replaced by individuals who genuinely know what they're doing well, it will be excellent for the industry as a whole. Barry is aware that the SEC is effectively messing up this situation now that there are outsiders like Michael J. In reality, he stated that the SEC lacks the knowledge and resources necessary to effectively supervise the cryptocurrency industry. And those words couldn't be more accurate. Okay, let's now discuss about XRP and some of its short-term price expectations. XRP, the rest of the cryptos, and all other coins are moving in lockstep with Bitcoin, which is currently experiencing what some are calling a relief rally. However, I don't believe that this is the beginning of a bear market or even a bull market. I believe that there could still be some significant pullbacks. Okay, so XRP is currently trading at around 37, almost 38 cents, and there aren't many barriers standing in the way of a straight shot to 60 cents. Let's bring it back up now and briefly discuss Bitcoin because it's an essential component of this jigsaw. Several traders and technical analysts that I follow closely look at the same thing pretty much every day, and many of them have come to the conclusion that once Bitcoin crosses a certain threshold, roughly somewhere in the 24,000 to 24,500 range, maybe even as high as 24, there aren't many barriers to growth. Many of them have set their price objectives at between 28 and 30,000 once it occurs. In fact, they predicted that it would arrive there most likely very, very rapidly. Numerous altcoins would rise along with it, which is what would happen if that happened. And XRP is no exception. In fact, if XRP were to go and reach the 60 cent level, it would be a gain of more over 60%. The resistance levels are currently at 38 cents and 40 to 42 cents, respectively. After that, up to 44 to 45 cents, there is another resistance level, but after that, if Bitcoin continues its push and its relief rally gets up and breaks through that, XRP will undoubtedly go to 60 cents, in my opinion. This is based on my analysis of the charts. So, is this a rally for relief? Could Bitcoin reach 30,000 before falling all the way to 17,000? That may happen. We'll have to keep an eye on this, according to some analysts, especially given the macroeconomic backdrop that isn't exactly great right now, even though the GDP in the US stinks and even though they're physically raising rates, which will slow down economic activity even more and give the retail market even less discretionary income to go ahead and buy some of these cryptocurrencies even if they wanted to at the low level. Why do you believe that this negative economic news is driving the markets upward at such a high level? Also, tell us whether you believe that this trend will continue or if everything else will correct itself and fall back to a lower level. Okay, people. I really appreciate you watching this video through to the finish and clicking the thumbs up button. I'll see you all in the upcoming video, as usual.